Hello YouTube, uh, this is going to be another small uh, unboxing uh, video and I'm going to show you something that I got off eBay. I bought two of these. Uh, they were $33 a piece and I bought two of them so it's about 60 bucks or so. Um, and what they are is that they are a DC 120 volt input, 200 amp volt amp combo meter, battery charge discharge indicator with shunt so it comes with a shunt. Alright, and I'll show you what different pictures of what it looks like. Uh, there's the back of it. It's got a little cable that goes to it. There's the uh, breakout board for it. And here's the 200 amp shunt, which is I got a few of those. There's what one uh, side of that meter looks like. And also you get to see it whenever I open it up. Alright, they're, they're not very big. Let's see, let's scroll this down. Uh, they're about seven inches long, so we're going to replace some of my meters with this, um, especially from a turbine. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you the reason why, because I actually want to see the wattage. That way I don't have to calculate it all the time, it automatically do it for me. Alright, and here's what this looks like. shows the LCD display area. Alright, and it'll show you voltage, working time, wattage, charging, amps, amp hours capacity of your batteries plus your surplus capacity percent and things like that you can uh, program this to look at but we're just going to basically look at voltage power and the current alright it shows you how to hook it up it's hooked up through your negative lead uh, it shows you how to use either a battery where it can power off your battery or you can also power it off an external power supply which we might use a external power supply depends on what all happens and what takes place but yeah, this is what we have this is what we're going to be hooking up and this is going to be from our wind turbine so we can um, see everything on there all right all right power supply if you want to use an external is anywhere between 1090 volts all right external slash internal power supply so you can use either or uh, measuring range is one volt or one it's zero to 120 volt amp is zero to 200 amp external power supply um, the other one is 10 to 90 volts amp zero to 200 amp internal power supply so if you want to use the internal so if you use exter external power supply you can measure zero to 120 if you use external it's 10 to 90 volts so we might end up setting it up for an external power supply it's a seg seven segment, four digits, it's red LEDs, five readings per second, um, accuracy, volt plus or minus 1%, plus 2 byte, 1 amp plus or minus 2%, plus 5 byte. Alright, resolution is 0 0.01 volt and 0 0.1 amp. Uh, wattage is 0 0.01 watt and your amp hour is 0 0.01 A amp hour and then 0 0.01 H. <coughs> All right, it gives you the dimension, size, the weight, and the external board shunt, 200 grams. You know, it tells you the weight of it. All right, and this is good for, you know, we're just going to use it for the wattage and stuff like that. But you can use it for solar wind, your HHO systems, uh, intelligent battery chart discharger. I mean, you can use this thing for just about anything. All right, for measuring your batteries and measuring power input, things like that. Um, it, it comes with everything, so we're going to open up the box and we're going to see what we got in the box, okay? So let's go ahead and get you down here so you can see. Alright, let's get this here set up. Okay, here we go. Let me get me something to open up the package with. Alright, and here's the package. Alright, let go ahead and get this opened. Bring it back here so I can open it. Plus, if I like these pretty good, I'll probably uh, order a bunch more of them and sell them on my uh, eBay site or on my uh, website. Alright, here's one. And these are the breakout boards. And I've got the two and has two instruction manuals which is only need one um, 
should have the two shunts. And they look just like the, the uh, 200 amp shunts that I've got from my other meters. Instead of now having two separate meters, I have one meter. And that's all it is. Got two two little shunts in here with it. And these are nickel plated copper. Or actually, nope, these are nickel plated brass. Because it's got BR on the side of her brass. Alright, and I'll show you the shunt. It's the exact same shunts as the ones I've got already. Alright. 200 amp, 75 millivolt. And I've got two of those. And we'll put those up in my uh, totes up top for when I'm ready to use them so they don't get lost. Alright, we'll put those up here with my other shunt. Yeah, if I don't break everything first. There we go. There's that. Alright, and these are the two little meters. I'll open this up real quick. Alright, and here's what one of the meters look like. Alright, now let's get us a measuring device out here so you can see about the size. Here's a little Bic lighter, so not too bad, not too bad at all. Alright. And we got two of those. Alright, and we'll be using them up top. I'll probably have one uh, on my meters going from coming from my turbine, and I'll probably have the other one going to uh, my battery bank. So I can see exactly what's going in my battery bank, and then also I can see when my battery bank is in discharge mode. So then we'll see how much power is being used and put back in, especially when my dump load kicks on. So that's what we'll use that one for, and we'll use the other one for just a turbine. So instead of having two meters that take up a lot of spot space, now I can have a couple of these. One for solar, one for turbine, or multiple turbines. And I can measure each one separately using these. Alright, there's those. And they gave me a, uh, a little connector thing here that goes with it. Let's see what they call it, a expanded expansion board. which is nice alright here's what the little expansion board looks like alright and there's the plug there's a plug into that one to plug in this board here and then one to plug into the back of the meter and then what this does is allow you to put your wires in and then just tighten it down so this makes easy connections Looks like a seven wire harness, seven wire output. All right. Actually, it's got eight little lines, eight little lugs on there. Let's see. Some of them might be a common ground. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Pretty nifty, guys. All right, and we'll get this stuff set up so you guys can see this work. I'll get it hooked up to one of my, my turbine. And thank you for watching this unboxing video. Talk to you YouTubers later.